Have you seen or been in a situation whereby you love someone but he or she does not love you back? Some people might be so upset because of the love they have for that person and end up doing the wrong thing. Why others will be calm and move on? You might not be in a lucky situation whereby you love someone and expect the person to love you back in return or pour out your feelings before another person does. Okay guys, hold on. Let me start this story afresh so you can learn how to be calm in some certain situation like this. In my elementary institution before my final exams, during my external coaching, I was crushing on a particular girl. Please come. On a fateful day like this, I decided to comfort her, to tell her how I feel towards her before it would be too late. But as a shy person, I couldn't do it the normal way, but I decided to do it the funny way by putting down what I have to say on a piece of paper so she can read and go through it. Hello pretty princess, ever since I saw my eyes on you, I have been seeing forward for a beautiful moment to experience the way I felt towards you, but I cannot get off the shiny in me, so I finally to place it in a piece, piece of paper. So if you are reading this, it's to experience my love and feelings for you. I love you. Actually, at this moment, I don't know what's wrong. She tore the paper on me, but I can't figure out the reason why. And I don't, can't figure out if I was actually at fault here or if she loved someone else. But, well, while she was going, I said in my mind there are some levels to this shit. But finding it difficult for me to move on, I accidentally found out that she has someone which she loves already. And it was so hurting. Man, it was so hurting. But we move. Things have changed over the past few years. Our boyfriend who studied engineering in school was opportune for a side to work. Now they have dated for over seven years. Now let's see their attitude from both sides. I don't understand. Babe, what are you doing here? I came to visit you. What kind of visit is that? Babe, a surprise visit. Are you not Surprise visit and so? Babe, uh -huh. leave here. I don't understand. Babe, just go. Go! Besides, I saw you smoking now. See me smoking? Yeah. Oh. Why do you see me smoke? Babe. Do you know that smokers are liable to die young? So are we die young? No, I mean... She's right. Smokers are liable to die young. Angry or sad that I killed someone. No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Just Babe, relax. Little did I know that there are some levels to this shit. So much for watching it's your boy Amos guys please don't forget to follow the page it's not easy to create content so follow the page like comment and share to others keep watching and expect more thank you
Did you miss this video? If you do, then watch to the end after clicking the subscribe button below. Imagine being in a society whereby human trafficking is rampant just to make money and young boys are blindfolded with commission, though they are aware it's against the law. Okay, guys, hold on. Let me take you guys to the beginning of this video so you know how it all started and you know how it feels to be in that kind of society. What do you take me for? I'm a hero, not a criminal. You did a very big mistake for calling me for this type of job. For crying out loud, you're a ritualist. Listen to me and listen to me clearly. This will be the last time. This will be the last time calling. It's useless talking to you. For letting the stress, I have one and I need to. The person you're looking for is a loser for the richer, and there's nothing you can do it now! watching it's your boy your guy most guy please kindly don't forget to subscribe follow the page like engage most importantly share the videos you watch it's not easy to make one please subscribe and turn on post notification bell what are you